Therapy is what will save you from becoming mad. If you don't do it, who is going to do it? You want to die before your time. Depressed. Elijah was suicidal. Elijah was do drugs. Don't do drugs. You are wasting your time. And for hi guys. Hi guys. My name is Wemimo E. And if it's your first time here, you are welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome. And in today's topic, we're going to be talking about mental health. Okay. May was Mental Health Awareness Month, but I didn't know until last minute. I didn't know until the 30th that it was because while it was Mental Health Month, my own mental health was being tried. My own mental health was being tried. I would say, yes, let's just say it was being tried. And yeah, I'm getting, I'm on the road to recovery right now because I'm always put myself inside the hole. I was in, inside our own like depression is a hole that starts small and before you know you keep on sinking you keep on sinking you keep on sinking until you fall inside so you know i caught myself on time this time around and i don't want to be lazy i don't want to give myself excuses so we're talking about mental health today let's get into it WHO divide mental health as a state of well-being in which every individual can carry out four roles, realize their potential, cope with normal stress of life, work, productivi work productively, participate meaningfully in the community. Yes, so that's what mental health is. And it also includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. That's what mental health is. And a lot of us struggle with me, I personally struggle with work, but no, participate in, I, I think I, I, I struggle with everything, yes, <laughs> for potential, I have anxiety that makes me think I can't do it, for cope with the normal stress of life, when I'm stressed, I eat a lot, when I work, okay, I always work productively, no matter what, as long as my mind is there, so I think that's the only one that, oh, that's the only one that my brain is sharp in, then participate when you feel in society when people are too much in a place i don't know how to talk i withdraw i withdraw i don't really know how to talk to people but i'm talking to you guys so it should count so let's just say one and two is what i really have a problem with but that's not what we are doing today mental health mental health mental health. mental health is a topic at least in my country nigeria is just something that is really really coming to life before people did not care about mental health if you told your mom in the twenties that you were depressed, oh my god, she'd be like, Oh, need depressed to record just so even till now. If you tell them you are depressed, my mom will ask you, Why are you depressed? But that's the question, Sha. That's the question. You just don't want to tell her because you don't want to tell her all the rubbish that you have been doing. Or all the rubbish that you've involved yourself in. So that's it. So mental health now is something that people are willing to talk about. They are willing to um find solutions so everyone wants to be okay with no in the head everyone wants to work by everyone wants to be campy so we're going to be talking about how to take care of your mental health today yes yeah, so i have how many points i have if you permit me i'm going to be looking at my book so that i would know what i'm saying i have seven points that i'm going to be touching on and i'm going to do them fast so that this video will not be too long because you gen z z people have short attention span i'm talking for myself i must talk for myself if you talk too much and i don't understand i'll just ex you're not preaching you. okay if you, okay let me get to see the video let me not deviate okay the first thing that you have to understand this lesson i got it from my sunday school manual because we taught mental health last month no in april so i got this point and it's very important they said understand the failure understand that failures and setback are part of life when you fail when you're in a challenge when, when you face a challenge you have to understand that that's the way life is life is no it's no it's not like this not go forward forward forever it's like this at times there are times where it goes there's yeah, other times it's bendy bendy and you have to understand that it can't always be perfect we have to that's the first thing that we have to understand she gets we get it we have to come to terms with the fact that it is not always going to be perfect that they're talking to me here because but they're talking to me here i'm taking it for myself this one yes 
I have to understand that because I'm such a perfectionist. I have kata. Sorry, my voice is changing. I'm such a perfectionist, and when things fail or when things are not going well, I tend to. I don't know how to explain it, sure, but I tend to feel like I can't make it. I tend to feel like. I go into a zone, a not so good zone. The second one is talk to someone you trust. Like when I started, I use when your mom asks you what's wrong, but you don't want to tell her because you feel like she will not understand. But some around, some of you around, some of you around you people have matured people, people who see things from your point of view, people who have lived that life, that phase of life that you're currently in. You can talk to them, and that's amazing for all of you that have that. That's that's wonderful so i feel like you should talk to someone you can trust you can talk to your friends your friends might help your friends might not you can talk to, just seek help talk to someone that you know that this person will give me good advice this person will make sure that will make me see things in a different light you get me that's that the next one is look after your physical health <laughs> maybe one of the reasons why i had a difficult may the month of May was because I stopped going to the gym, which is funny. I started going to the gym in April. Let's attribute some of my issues to going to the gym. But I'm starting again today. So by five, I'm off to the gym today. Okay. So look after your physical health, drink water, heal healthy, exercise. When they were like, exercise relieves your stress. I get what they mean. Fine, it can be pain. I think it's the pain that takes the stress, that takes the mental stress away because for some time you're focusing on just yourself and get your for some time maybe one hour or two you're focusing on just you you're focusing on of yourself i don't know how that makes sense but yes exercise eat well drink water you can drink tea i'm drinking milk one thing that's not on my list that i want to say is self-care self-care is a for, is a therapy for mental health and it also clashes with doing things that you enjoy doing. Like for some time now, I've not been able to watch K dramas because I've been so busy. I have been so busy at work. You would think I'm a lawyer already, but the work was so much. But I felt like everything was just everything was just like life was living, and I was just in one spot. I was like, no, no, no. So I started watching K dramas again. I started. I started i'm even about to finish one because of this video that's why i've not finished the one i'm watching right now so do things you enjoy if it's self-care you like to do do it self-care is important even if you don't like to do it do it i find self-care difficult too but it's something that you have to do another way to look out of your look after your mental health is don't do drugs drugs are not going to make it better they're going to make it worse because i think drugs take you to a fantasy land that is not real that is not real and when it wears up it brings you back I, I think from the explanation i've heard from friends and other people from friends that's what drugs does to you so there's no point it's only a temporary fix it's not going to fix the issue so stay away from drugs next one is focus on the world around you all right my explanation in the video i didn't really do justice to this so focusing on the world around you focus on nature practice gratitude nature is all around us you can go outside you can take a walk you can stay away from your phone for that particular time just enjoy life enjoy the smell of the grass the trees take walks ex like that's that then ex exercise gratitude gratitude be grateful for the little things you have yes be, be grateful be grateful i have the song by maverick city music that says that um anxiety and gratitude cannot exist in the brain at the same time so when we are grateful for the little things that we have it's much better for us it helps us focus less on what we don't have so that's that if you want to get better for your mental health you have to stand up and try to get better you can't just sit down on your seat and say my mental health has to be better you have to move for your mental health to be better you get me okay so the next step next step is seek professional help if you don't have someone you trust or if you feel like no one is getting you like something is fundamentally wrong something is something is wrong and is eating you up something that you know that 
you can't solve this on your own out of all the things you've tried let's say you've tried all this thing none of them are working for you you can go to a therapist therapy is not therapy you can go to therapy therapy is not a sign that you're weak therapy is not a sign that you're mad therapy is you seeking help is okay therapy i said therapy is not a sign that you're mad but therapy is not a sign you're mad yes therapy is what will save you from becoming mad that was what I wanted to see. So the next one that I've applied to my life. Okay, I've said to my seven, but the ones I've applied to my life is um social media breaks. I used because of the in the month of May, I used social media a lot. But you know, I used Instagram a lot. Um when it was heading towards the month, I was like, I have to focus on other things. I have so much to do in June and i want to be focused i deleted instagram and i'm taking a break right now probably won't go back on on instagram until july as the lord please as the lord sees it. or as i don't know as the lord leads chat yeah, then i started to see that i was starting to rely on other apps on other applications like tiktok and twitter and i didn't use twitter that much but i started using it that much so i deleted both so I'm taking a break right now from Instagram. Instagram is where I'm more active on. So I deleted it because it's not like I post my YouTube content there or I'm running a page. Maybe when I come back from this break, I will run, I will start being more active on posting things on Instagram. But Instagram wanted to finish me, so I got rid of Instagram. So that's basically it. I said understand that failures and challenges are part of life talk to someone that you love talk to someone that you trust look after your physical health do things that you enjoy running watching tv movies going out eating okay i won't say eating because eating can lead to stress eating so don't do drugs don't do drugs you are wasting your time and focus on the world around you, focus on nature, focus on all those little things that you wouldn't even focus on, like the way you lift your hand. When I do my hand like this, how do I feel? When I bend, how do I feel? What can I smell with my nose? Am I smelling bread? All those things that don't make any sense, that you think don't make any sense, but breathe in, breathe out, smell, smell the grass, smell it, smell the smell of of, it's raining season now so you know where rain falls that smell that comes from the ground with the rain oh that smell is so beautiful you guys should smell it and seek professional help where you feel like this is necessary to seek professional help don't run away from therapy if i go to therapy as a christian one more thing pray pray focus on read your bible and pray i don't believe i forgot that that was what i was supposed to say read your bible read 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 your bible people in the bible also had emotional issues don't think it's only in gen z that we are having emotional issues the bible had uh, elijah elijah was the case example they used in my manual elijah sorry elijah was depressed elijah was suicidal elijah was scared he had anxiety when jezebel threatened him so you're not the only one a lot even jonah jonah and this one that betrayed jesus he killed himself so see professional help and yes that's 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 it take social media break so i hope you guys will focus on your mental health from now on me i'm already focusing on mine even though it's not um i have to want to tell you that it's not a straight road it's not it's not like this the road is like this it's like this it's like this it's like this that sometimes where you just be like you know what i'm not doing it again but if you don't do it who is going to do it you want to die before your time so take care of yourself take care of your physical health i don't know if i'm telling you to take care of your physical health <laughs> My Bob will kill me where she is that I'm telling people to take care of their physical health when I don't take care of my physical health. But we are learning together. We're growing together. She gets me. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you are really taking care of your mental health because it is so important. In my elder class in school, they said four in five people, four in five, I mean three in five people have mental health issues. So you guys should take care of yourself very very well and i really hope you guys apply this into your lives and let me know if you see any change if you still talk to me by then
so i'll see you guys in my next video toodles